inspired thinker and designer. So much of his work has to do with how it fits on the body and how it moves, so it'll be really fun to see the parade today. Doing a kind of like masculine kind of feel to, to their hair, kind of like square a shape on the girls, make them look tougher. Narciso Rodriguez's collections have always been extremely graphic, but I think he's taken the graphism to new heights this season. I heard you say the magic word. Bondage, yes. It's all different kinds of inspiration, really. Weaponry, defense, ninja stars, whips, chains, electrical tape. The fun part is taking things that are aggressive and making them peaceful and, and not an act of aggression. She's just creating beauty. Well, he's had these very sexy dresses before, but this one I thought he had a nice balance between really graphic black and whites and then these sort of kind of dominatrixy, brilliant colors and bondage straps. So you thought the sexuality was quite aggressive then in that collection? I did think the sexuality was aggressive, yes. He loves women. Designers who love women make clothes that make them feel good you know, but accentuate their curves and enjoy their bodies. Honestly, I've yet to try on one of his dresses that didn't make me feel good. There was one dress in the collection that looked like you'd actually drawn it on the body. So it was a doodle that came to life one day, and it was nice to drape and to sketch. He really knows how to cut a dress for a woman, not just making clean line, but understanding form. Understand Playing with the anatomy. I watch her do it, and I watch Narciso do it. My heart was pounding watching this collection. She's the beautiful dresses with the ribbon silhouetting. I mean, it was soft bondage, you know, whether it's the zipper back, which is naughty but very nice, and those kinds of things are just magnificent. Kind of um, detoxifying dangerous things. Yes, yes. What do you love about his clothes, then? I love how young and fresh and sexy and clean, but still very chic and very lady. It's funny because a lot of people think uh, Cuban culture is very macho or Spanish is very macho, but in fact it's the appreciation of women. That's that yin and yang, the macho and the appreciation of women. The way he lives his life is the way he makes his clothes. They're simple, they're elegant, they're stylish. 20 years from now, I'll still be wearing the same, well, if I can fit in them. Dresses. <laughs>